WWE Universe, your eyes are not deceiving you. Logan Paul is here. Separate competition. Paul, we're looking at a global social media megastar who's recently added sports entertainment to his long list of skills. Anyone who throws stones Logan's way is just jealous, envious as to how Paul has taken to the squared circle like a fish to water. Like him or not, you can't deny his quick ability to pick things up here in WWE. And Brock Lesnar enters this match with one of them. That's thrilling to the armbar. Trapped the leg as well. This is trouble. Submission locked in tight. Oh, man. Quick as a cat, just like that. That was a thing of beauty. DDT. Looking for an early pin. He kicks out before the count hit. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Nice escape. So well scouted by Paul. I can't believe I'm even asking this, but Corey, what would you consider the ideal strategy to take on Logan Paul in this matchup? I'll answer without the condescension, Paul. The key is utilizing your veteran advantage. End of the day, while Paul may be a megastar, he's not a WWE superstar. Even with his boxing prowess, even with all the tutelage he's received from The Miz, Logan Paul is still very much a rookie in the ring, with all the weakness that entails. Brock isn't pulling any punches, doing everything he can to inflict... Shoulder tackle in the corner. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. 